carving, wiring, pruning, hurting my fingers, this video. This Berber is I styled last summer. Well styled, I gave it a first wiring and pruning. And I realized that this whole part of the trunk is all completely dead. And I said, I'm just going to let that decay naturally. Hasn't decayed very much. But today, I'm going to take a different route. I'm going to carve it out, I'm going to prune and wire the tree, and I'm going to set it on its track to become a bonsai once more. For the most natural result, of course, you always let the tree decay by itself, and then you take away the soft wood. But here, the wood has not gotten soft yet. Here, it actually has. No, this is not going to go anywhere. Always make sure the pot is stable and can't move away from you. Wear glasses. Now one key thing is that when you are carving using a tool like this, is that you have to watch out for the rotation. This device rotates this direction. And if you then move fr from down low up, you pull against the rotation of the machine. That's a lot safer to work than moving down. This way, if you move down, it will jump away. Here it will bite itself into the wood. Let me show you. Doesn't really cut, but burns a lot. Now the other direction, and I'm going to put on my glasses for this. That carves a lot deeper. Now when you're carving, you always carve in the direction of the natural grain of the wood. That looks most natural. And I try to open this up a little bit and then go in, but leave a part of the outside sitting here. Now what I'm trying to do is create a bit of a hollow space here at the bottom of the trunk um, with white, well rotted out areas here. This part is almost, well it is actually completely loose now. And this is going to stay in place. Here you see that the vein gets narrower. I'm just going to hollow out here underneath. Leave this in place as much as possible and try whether I can hollow it out here as well. And then it will look a little bit like it is a natural rotting process. And naturally over the years it will age further. So for this you have to change sides every once in a while so that you can go underneath here. And after I am done with the rough hollowing out here, I'll use a much finer tool to create thin lines in here. And then I'll have to look at the top what I'm going to do there. Clearly way too long. And I'll carve the rest away because I can't really get to the cut side. Now the initial carving I did with a bonsai nibbler. This is a three point carving tool, ideal for rough work, removing lots of wood. Now the next phase, I'm going to use a little cutting blade and I've got a little disc with which you can make V-shaped indentations. Next to this, I use brush wire and a very old brush wire. And these two are really the last stage and they brush away any harsh tool marks. So 
So before the final brushing, I'm now going to burn off the loose fibers a little bit. And the final brushing. Right, carving is done. I have now brushed it off. There's no more splinters on there. The whole thing needs to be washed down. And then I can look at wiring and pruning. Now for the rest of the work, I don't need all that much. Regular scissors, concave cutters, wire cutters, bits and bobs of wire. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to thin it out. You see these long stalks here? They're all growing from the base of a branch that I selected last time as one of the main branches. So this gets to go. Same with long stalks like this. On top I'm never going to have long stalks. So all of these can be reduced drastically. Remember, it's berberit. They have very, very sharp spines. So don't get your fingers punctured. Here another one growing from the base. These vertical stalks take a lot of energy from the rest of the branch and I should have actually removed them already earlier. This is okay, but I don't want it that long. This also comes from the base, so it can go all the way off. To be honest, just such a prone to shape has already improved this tree considerably. It now already looks good. What am I going to do with this? This comes from the highest branch, but it looks to compete with these two branches. In fact, this could be the top of the new tree, which means that here there is way too many long branches. This one can go completely as it comes directly here off the base. This one I'm going to just shorten to an outward looking bud so that it can grow out into this direction. This here is still okay. Now it's a matter I think of taking one and one and a half millimeters of wire and wiring all these side branches to make a nice and pleasing profile. Still reducing the length here and there because I want this to be a fairly compact tree in the end. But it's getting there. This is a branch that I really don't need. It's coming from the base of the branch and then growing inward. This one also, same story. Still congested here. Maybe if I bring this down a little bit better, I think it would be. So let me 
put attention while you're there. Now the top is moving very much to the left and I'd like to move that a little bit like this to the front coming towards the viewer and to the right so let me wire that out this is actually not a real side branch it also comes from the base so I'm just going to remove it anchor it around another branch this one in the back and then just as you per usual between the leaves between the needles try to entrap as little as possible and i hope you can tell that what i've done here in the top here is an old side branch, there's an old side branch, here's an old side branch, and here's also something like a side branch. And I removed the wood in between, so I can get some thinning here on top. And it looks like these are just old died off branches. In the end it is and will remain a stump. Eventually one day I will carve out this section so that these become individual points. But it's the best I can do. It was straight fibers, so not too much movement in the areas that are curved out. Now the final result of the carving. Um, you see the lines of the carving tool, but it doesn't look all that unnatural. Yeah, pretty pleased with that. And with that, we're all done. I think it is a great improvement over what the tree looked like earlier today. You see the trunk is nice and carved. The big stump here is gone. Um, it doesn't look like something that has just died, it is starting to de decompose here in the trunk. The branches have been set in their new positions and I think after this has healed over it has become just a clip and grow tree. The rest of the development I don't think I need to wire out. Primaries and secondaries are now set and the rest I'll let just nature decide where the branches go. Cleaning out once, twice a year. Yeah, please where this is going. Next is what pot to use. Anyway, this was Jenna, Growing Bonsai. Thank you for watching. See you next time.